This is how to set up tickets bot for your Discord server, let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is create a Discord server, here's the one I made for the video. Next thing you want to do is click the link in my description and it should take you to this website right here. And then you want to click invite tickets to your Discord server. After clicking the button, it should take you to this page. Next thing you want to do is click on this button and choose a server you want to add the bot to. Then click on continue, scroll down and click authorize and go back to your Discord server. After that, you'll see that the tickets bot has joined your server. After that, you want to type slash setup auto. What this will do is create a transcript channel and a tickets category. After that has been completed, you can leave the transcript channel as it is for now, but next, you should create a new channel in the tickets category so the tickets bot can send its reaction panel which we will get into later. Click on the plus right here, You'll want to make it a text channel. For the channel name, you can name it anything you want. Right now, I'll make mine create a ticket. Click create channel, and there we go. Next thing you want to do is come back to general, and then click on this button. After you've clicked on the link, it'll take you to this page again. You want to click authorize. After it's done loading, it should take you to this page right here, which is the reaction panels under the dashboard. And this is how you create a button for the members in your server to create a ticket. So right here, you can edit the panel title and the panel content. Essentially, what this is, is what the ticket spot will send on top of the button where you click to create a ticket. So I'm going to name mine support. You guys can name it anything you want. For panel content, I'll be naming it click the button below to create a ticket. And then next for these categories, you can customize it to your likings. Panel color, this is what the side thing will be. I'll make it red. Panel channel, this is where the members will find where to create the ticket. So let's make it create a ticket. Button color, let's make it green. You guys can make this anything you want by the way. Button text, let's say click to create large image URL and small image URL. These are both optional, you do not have to do these. Disable panel, you won't want to do this since you're trying to enable it. Button emoji, you can set it to a custom emoji, but I'll just leave it as it is. Then there's welcome message and access control. For the welcome message, I guess you can name it anything you want, I'll keep it as the default. Title, I'll name it welcome to, sub welcome to the ticket, I guess. Title URL, this is also optional. Color, I'll make it red. Author name, author icon URL, you can skip all of these. So let's close that. Access control is who can open the ticket. We'll make it so that everyone can open it as everyone would want support. And then after you're done, we're gonna click submit. After you click submit, this will show and you wanna go back to your Discord server. Let's say I'm a person who needs help, so let's click click to create, and this should create us a new ticket. Let's click on ticket one, and it brings us to the ticket. As you can see, this is the ticket that we just made over here, and over here you can type anything you want. Right here, let's just say, I need help, and hopefully your staff will come to this ticket and help the member in need. Before that, you wanna come back to the dashboard here, click on staff teams, and it should take you to create a team. So let's create a team called staff, click on manage teams, staff, and here it is. So right here, we can add a member or a role. This is a staff for the tickets, where they can manage, control, and help in the tickets. So let's add myself into the ticket. So let's click on add a member, my name, add to team. And as you can see, we are in the staff team. If you have mistakenly added a random person into your staff team, you can click on delete by their name. Now that you're a staff, you can control the tickets. Let's say I am another person, the staff, and I've came to this ticket and I've helped this person. So thank you. That's what they're going to say. Now we can close, close with reason or claim this ticket. So I can go ahead, claim the ticket. My ticket was handled by a staff. And then we can close with a reason or close just itself. Let's click close with a reason. Reason, help given. Let's click submit. And now the ticket has closed. 
and as you can see, the ticket has gone to the transcripts channel and staff can later on come here and view the transcripts for the ticket that has been closed. And the person who created the ticket will also get a transcript in their DMs by the ticket spot. So that's about it for this setup tutorial. For the full extended setup, check out the video here and please subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video.